There's certainly some questions to look at, but I'd be very surprised if we find uh, a trove of illegality here. Uh, a few um, very experienced uh, lawyers and constitutional experts have had a look at it, and so far they haven't unearthed any illegality as such. Mm. But I really think that's not the point. Mm. Uh, we want to expect a lot more from our politicians than merely that they behave and uh, you know obey the law. If you could say, let's put this to one side, because as my brother-in-law said to me this morning on the phone, he said, what's all the fuss about? He didn't get off with any money mm -hmm. or commit a crime. Mm. But I would say what we're looking at here is ethical behaviour and integrity in government. It's so important because we have to trust our politicians. We have to have the utmost faith in what they do. Mm. And we have to believe in them. And over the last few years, that's been declining enormously. And I think this has been a body blow to integrity. Let's look at Scott Morrison's defence um, in that lengthy uh, press conference that he gave. He said, I believed it was necessary to have authority to have what were effectively emergency powers to exercise in extreme situations that would be unforeseen, that would enable him to act in the national interest. Does that hold water when it comes to integrity that you're speaking of? Well, if I were a judge, as I once was, I would strike that defence out as having no merit. Mm -hmm. uh, because, first of all, it wasn't necessary. Uh, we have a system of assistant, assistant and uh, delegated ministers, uh, so that if anyone's taken ill, they can be replaced within hours. Mm -hmm. So the first part of his argument is just nonsense. And secondly, why did it have to be secret? Mm. Uh, I, I, I mean, I struggle to really understand that, but I've become convinced um, that the real reason uh, that he wanted this secret is that he knew that this would be on the nose if it came out into the open, that the public wouldn't like it, that his colleagues wouldn't like it, and that Parliament wouldn't like it. So that's the real reason I think he kept it secret. Why do it at all? I think it's a grab for power. Uh, it's a grab for political power. Uh, I think what he did in relation to uh, Minister Pitt mm. and revoking the uh, oil gas... Pet 11 deal. Yeah, yeah. deal. Uh, was very typical. I mean, he's a great admirer of oil and gas. So why was he doing it? Because at that stage, it was politically expedient. Mm. And to have all these powers up your sleeve where you can exercise that sort of power in your version of the political interest is very much a Morrison characteristic, mm. I think. There have also been questions about the Governor-General's role in this. I mean, the system allowed for this to happen, and Anthony Albanese has flagged that he may look at mm. um, a ways to change the system mm. and, and look at legislating um, those appointments. Yeah. What does need to change in those uh, Well, I think what we need to do is, instead of just having a convention that appointments like this must be made pu public, we must turn it into a law mm. so that it becomes illegal not to do it. Uh, as for the Governor-General, I think that he's been something of an innocent dupe mm. in this. Uh, I mean, he's right in saying it was not his job to communicate this to the um, public. And I think in any contest between Scott Morrison and the Governor-General, this very nice gentleman would have been easy meat for our Prime Minister. And I, I don't think that we should level too much blame at him personally, but I do agree the system should be improved. So uh, along with system improvements, does this also uh, justify the need for a federal integrity commission? I don't think that this amounts to corrupt conduct. I don't think that, a, that, a, a, that a, 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 an anti-corruption body would investigate this, but what I think it does do is emphasise the need for an integrity commissioner, which I've long championed. That is a separate uh, body who is there to guide and assist with ethical behaviour at parliamentary level. I think that's what we really need.